Welcome to Veterinary Clinical Pharmacology. I am Gary Dilesaga, an instructor of the College of Veterinary Medicine, University of Southern Mindanao. Before we are going to proceed to our lecture proper, let's have first our class orientation. This course shall utilize two modes of learning in order to conduct the lecture. So the first uh, mode of learning will be the asynchronous type of learning. So what is a synchronous type of learning? So a synchronous type of learning is a mode of learning wherein students will have the access to class materials during different hours and from different locations. So the one that you are doing now, you are watching a pre-recorded lecture video or lesson is an example of an asynchronous type of learning. So aside from this, we can also make use of um, viewing video demonstrations reading and writing assignments, and student presentations in this course. And those are also examples of asynchronous learning. Another type of learning that we are going to use is the synchronous type of learning. So an example, an example of synchronous learning is when we are going to conduct our lesson through Google Meet. So basically, when we say synchronous type of learning, that is a type of learning wherein students are engaged in learning at the same time. So we have different uh, digital platforms that we are going to use in order to conduct our teaching and learning activities. So these uh, digital platforms that we are going to use include Google Meet. So Google Meet will be our uh, official platform for our synchronous mode of learning. We also have our USM VLE 4.0. The VLE stands for Virtual Learning Environment. We are also going to make use of YouTube, Facebook, Messenger, Google Classroom, and also uh, we are also going to make use of other digital platforms such as Google Sites, uh, Google Form, PowerPoint, and Canva. When we are going to participate in Google Meet for our synchronous learning, we need to follow some ground rules. So we need to show up you know, at the correct time and stay in the Meet for the entire time. So for example, when our class is scheduled at when our lecture class is scheduled at 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., we need to be there you know, in the meet uh, before, before our scheduled time. So we need to be there at least five minutes before the scheduled time. And we need also to uh, stay in the meet you know, for the entire duration until the class will be dismissed. Uh, students must mute uh, your microphone until you are called upon to speak. You also need to keep the sidebar chat on topic. So when we are going to navigate our Google Meet, you can find there a chat box that is located on the sidebar. So you must use that uh, chat box in order to discuss uh, some topics you know, that are related to the lesson. Or you can also uh, make use of that to ask questions from your instructor. So aside from uh, asking questions in the chat box, you can also make use of that in order to share some important um, resources about the or that are related to the topic or that are, that are related to the lesson. You may also you may or may not turn on your video as long as you listen to your instructor. So you should also limit the background noise so your teacher and classmates can hear you clearly when you speak. So this is uh, very important when we are going to conduct our uh, online recitation through Google Meet. So do not talk when someone else is talking. So you just have to, uh, no, you, you just have to mute your microphone when you are, when you are not no, the one that are talking in the meet. 
So the Google Meet link will be generated through USM VLE 4.0 and the link will then be sent to the class group chat through Messenger. So Google Meet shall be done during the scheduled class hours for the course. Another very important uh, platform that we are going to use for our asynchronous learning is the USM VLE 4.0. The VLE here stands for Virtual Learning Environment. So the USM VLE 4.0 will be our official learning management system for the course. Students need an institutional email or the USM Gmail account for you to be able to enter this platform. You also need an enrollment key for you to be able to access the virtual platform. So the enrollment key for this course was already shared in our group uh, group chat in Messenger. This is what uh, our course looks like in the VLE uh, 4.0 platform. So in this platform, all our lecture materials, our lecture manual, and the syllabi, as well as the details, of the the sequence of the topics will be uh, will be indicated or will be uploaded in the VLE 4.0. Another platform is uh, YouTube. So in YouTube, we have our official channel, the this one, no, the Pinoy Vet Akads. So this channel will be a site where all our recorded lecture presentations will be uploaded. So the lectures here are uploaded regularly and are arranged in playlist format so that you will not find it difficult to navigate and search the lesson you wish to view. So everyone is encouraged to subscribe to this channel to keep updated about the lessons. Another is uh, we also have Facebook. So you can like and follow our Facebook page, Pinoy Vet Akads, to be updated with our lessons announcements, and some useful information about our course. So in Messenger, we also have our group chat. The, uh, this one here is our group chat for uh, Pet Pharma 3 to 1. So you, uh, this group chat is very important and you all need to be a member of this GC for you to be informed regularly about some important important announcements about the course and to also to communicate with your uh, classmates and with your instructor so in cases where the so in cases when you know, the USM VLE 4.0 is under maintenance or is not available we also have here you can also make use of our Google Classroom for us to be able to still update you about the lessons and about uh, some important announcements about the course. So I already made this uh, Google Classroom for Vet Pharma 3 to 2. Another very important platform that we are using in order to make presentations are PowerPoint and the Canva. For our examinations, we are using the Google uh, Forms for us to, when we are, we are doing you know, your quizzes, all your uh, one-hour examinations, the midterm and the final term examinations. We also have another platform, the Google Sites. So the Google Sites will be used as a backup in order to uh, include there you know, the important, the detailed uh, lecture notes about the course. For the course title and the course numbers, so this course is Vet Pharma 322, Veterinary Clinical Pharmacology. And the prerequisite now of this course is the Vet Pharma 311. For the credit units, the course has um, four credit units. The lecture has three units. Uh, three hours will be devoted for lecture per week and uh, for the laboratory uh, we have three units three hours will be intended for laboratory per week for the class schedule you know, for 3d vma our lecture will be every mwf at 7 to 8 a.m 
or the class schedule or 3D VMB. Our lecture will be every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 to 3 p.m. So for the laboratory, we are going to make use of the you are going to make use of your laboratory time for asynchronous learning. This course aims to provide students with knowledge and understanding of clinical pharmacology and therapeutics. It shall describe the pharmacodynamics and the pharmacokinetics of important therapeutic agents in clinical veterinary practice. It shall also discuss the properties, clinical indications, and the adverse effects of these agents. For the course outline, the module 1 will discuss about the class orientation. The module 2 will uh, describe or discuss the scope of the veterinary pharmacology. The module 3 will start with histamine. Module 4 with antihistamines. The next module will talk about the serotonin antagonist. Uh, we also have the lipid-derived autocoids, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or the NSAIDs. We are also going to discuss about kinins, angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors or the ACE inhibitors, the GIT uh, pharmacology, so those drugs that will act on the GIT. We'll start with sialogogs and the anti-sialogogs. Digestants and purgatives, antidiarrheals. Uh, we also are going to uh, discuss about those drugs that act on the rumen. The next module will also talk about the drugs that will act on the cardiovascular system and we'll start with digitalis. The next one will be uh, the antiarrhythmic drugs. So these are also drugs that act on the uh, heart or the cardiovascular system. The next are the vasodilators and the antihypertensive drugs. We also have the hematinic coagulants and the anticoagulants. And the module 18 will uh, begin with uh, those drugs that act on the respiratory system and we'll start with the uh, expectorants. We'll also discuss about decongestants and antitussives, bronchodilators, and diuretics. For module 22, we are also going to talked about the other drugs acting on the urogenital system, the pharmacotherapeutics of hormones, particularly the metabolic hormones, the reproductive hormones and vitamins, drugs acting on the skin and the mucous membranes, and uh, we also have the bioenhancers, immunostimulants, and immunosuppressants. And uh, lastly, we have the chemotherapeutic agents. So this chemotherapeutic agent shall include antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, uh, antalmentix, antiprotozoal, and uh, ectoparasiticides. For the course evaluation, the university grading system shall be adapted where the term grade shall constitute 33% of the grade for quizzes, long exams, and 67% for the term exams. The term exams can, can be the, the midterm and the final term exam. The final grade shall constitute 33% of the midterm grade and 67% of the final term grade. The passing percentage in any exams is 75% with an equivalent grade of 3.0. Evaluation of the student's performance will be based on the results of the quizzes, one-hour exams, midterm, final exam, and requirements, if any. For the classroom policies, kindly refer to our class syllabus, which was uploaded in our official BLP. 